Hi guys, so this morning um, I will be doing my busted out. I am so sorry it was not done yesterday. Um, you know, I woke up and usually I go through my comments and I respond and things and then I'll work on things I need to do. I do have a launch coming up uh, for tonic in a couple days, but the thing was had to be due like basically by today. So I was doing those videos and then the news broke and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna read the room. It just wasn't the time for me to just oh, let's do this and just pretend everything's fine. So I'll just leave it at that. It was just an embarrassing day yesterday for the U.S. is all I'm going to say. But um, I just wasn't in the mood. It just didn't seem like something I should do. So I am going to work on today's Busted Out with the Ultimate Pro, the Crafter's Companion Ultimate Pro. Um, this has been requested many times, uh, different plates, and if I have them, you know, I'll try to accommodate that. This one was requested, like, maybe a month or two ago, maybe two months ago, and I'm so sorry, I'm just getting it to it now for this specific plate. Um, so thank you, um, one of my subscribers, and, you know, that, uh, re well, not just one of them, but a few, but one particular who had emailed me about it. Uh, thank you so much. Um, so again, this is busted out. I'm assuming you have this. Um, any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. Having said that, you know, I, I don't know that I'll have links for this, but sometimes the other products that I use or papers or whatever it might be, might be in there. Um, yeah, so let's just get to it. So I was looking at this, and to be honest, guys, I have the video that has to do with this board. This is, I guess, the Boutique Boxes bo uh, board, and there might be a couple, but this is the one that looks like this. So on this side, it has the bag, and I've already done a video on the Scalloped Edge bag, which I don't know if that one's also called Boutique Boxes or Sweet Treats. It might be from the Sweet Treats set. I don't know. And on the back side, it has, like, this milk carton-looking thing. Um, so, or... Not really. It's more of a gift bag if you look at the handle here. I do have one that's like a milk carton. I'm sorry about the lighting. This purple always makes my lighting look funky. Like, this is weird. The color purple is way off. Anyway. Alright, guys. So, let me um, look at this. So, I was looking at, you know, uh, whenever this was presented, like on HSN or maybe some kind of sample that Crafts Companion might have. So, I, like I said, I have the video that goes along with it. I don't know where that video is. Every time I clean my uh, my room or my workspace, I find them and I'm like, oh, here's those, where those videos are. Because <laughs> I put them somewhere where I can easily spot them for the next time I want to check them out. And I don't know what happened. I know Crafts Companion put out a new USB or something that people are using um, with info or maybe printouts, things like that, that you can use, because that's basically what they do with their boards. They'll have like something you can print and then you can cut your paper out and they'll have that pretty print on it or or a tag or something that goes along with it, right? Um, so I don't have that new one uh, because I already have three of these, three of these Ultimate Pros and I'm like, I don't need another one. And then I think the time was a bundle. Maybe I'll look into getting the USB by itself and maybe it'll be on Crafters Companion site, I don't know. Um, we will see. But this is kind of a pain, okay? This one <laughs> in particular. There's probably different ways to set this up. Um, I did catch a glimpse of when she aired it on HSN, Sarah did. And you can see that these tabs kind of go in. And if you look at them, and just looking at them, just a person in the world, you know, <laughs> haven't used them yet. This is the exact same as this. If they're supposed to link together some way, that's what it looks like, right? The slits. They're facing the exact same way. So I think we're going to have a workaround of, on that. Uh, and I'll show you that in just a moment. And then... Um, the other thing is, are we going to cut two of these out and then layer them together? Because this basically kind of curves and it's kind of weird to match that curve up if it's folded on this curve and not cut on this curve. So there's a lot of things that we have to think about when we're looking at this board. If you don't have a video, if you have no idea what to do. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is cut it out with white paper. I have this Spellbinders um, paper I had picked up not too long ago. And uh, it's just 80 pound paper. It's Nina Solar White actually. Um is what it is. That's what it says on Spellbinder's site, but when it comes in, it just says that it's 80 pound paper from Spellbinders. I'm gonna need two pieces. I tried to measure this out to see if like on a 12 inch piece of paper, if we could do this top part and all this, and then just do this part again, you know what I'm saying? Flip your paper and you already have this part in it. And all you have to do is add this top part, but it goes all the way up to here. So the other handle, doesn't make it on a 12 by 12 piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? As far as the length of it. So you really do need two pieces of paper. It doesn't matter if you want to start with 12 by 12, that's fine, but you're still going to have to do another one. Um, so whatever paper you like to use. Also, when you're doing this, and this is from previous attempts, um, you see how part of this hangs off the bottom? This is the thing with this thing. This area here is where it kind of clips in. It gets really hard to start maneuvering this down here. So I'm going to cut that piece of paper off. 
So I'm gonna see exactly where this is, like around here. I'm just gonna cut the paper down, and then you can use your trimmer. I'm just gonna eyeball this. And so we're gonna make this little bag. And I don't know if my subscriber was requesting the one that had emailed. I know other people had asked about it, but the email was very specific, but she didn't say um, if it was here. So Miss Jovial, please let me know. Um, this other one looks more um, doable without having to have instructions. You know what I'm saying? If you look at this, you're gonna obviously trim, or not trim, but follow along all this outer edge, do, 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 all the score marks, and you're gonna do two of them because you're gonna stick them together with these flaps. Um, top and bottom here, and then this is gonna come in to make the bottom of your bag. And then these gussets fold in on each other, on themselves, to make that inner part. Now, looking at this, I have a feeling I understand what the problem is or why it would be confusing. Um, if you copy this twice, why would there be gussets? You're gonna have four gussets. Do you know what I'm saying? Four areas? That is weird. So, uh, maybe I'll have to look at this again. Because I know there are boards where Sarah will do things and she says, okay, oh, this time don't copy this part or don't use this side or however. So, that is very odd. I'm going to say that one time you're going to do this side. You know what I'm saying? You have your paper on here. You're going to copy this side. And then on the second one, you're only going to do this side. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So you put your paper and you only copy this other side. And now you have this piece with the flap, which is fine. And then this piece with the sticky part. Um, I am assuming. <laughs> I don't know. Now looking at this, now I'm confusing myself. That is weird. Da, da, da. Or you do that and only this middle part again? Oosh. Okay. I can see why she was... Uh, really needing help on this one. This is a weird one. Okay, well let's do this bag and then if I do the other one, we'll do the other one. Now, as you can see, my eight and a half inch paper is just a little bit shy of the edges, but that's okay because that's just what we're gonna trace. Now, the other thing is, which one do you wanna use? There's two sticks or two um, of these guys in the uh, in the kit, right? One's a little bit finer and I left it in there because I'm not gonna use that one. It's very fine and sometimes it'll gouge your paper really badly. So I like to use these. I like to use the smaller of the two sides. Hopefully you can see this one's a little bit smaller than this. And we're just gonna trace it. And um, <laughs> I don't know why they call this dry embossing. I mean, isn't all embossing dry? I guess maybe the heat embossing, I don't know. But okay, we're gonna dry emboss this. So I put this again, my paper's perfectly here to here and then I cut it down so that it would um, not get uh, messed up because once you come down here in this area I'm telling you right now it'll start gouging because this paper is getting pushed and you have to push it harder to get the paper in there so it's better to cut it down all right and we just start so I start by looking at kind of where this should be and I kind of feel it out and right now all I'm doing is tracing the very outside okay so that's the handle um, and this it has another one that goes straight across here okay and then it goes this way See, I went off already. That's the thing. And this is the other thing. Um, as you're working with these, you have to decide, like, do you like to cut on the side of where you have the embossing, or do you prefer to have your paper facing down so you're on the back side and then cut it out? I, you know, that's up to you. <laughs> and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a minute. Because it does make a difference if your paper is down or up. Okay, so I'm going to trace this, and like I said, that piece went off the side, but I'm not worried about it because that part is not important. And again, I'm trying to see where this thing goes. There's a little bit of a cusp here. Da, da, da. No, it goes all the way over here. Okay. There's that. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Okay, and again, I'm just following along, and as you're going, you can kind of feel the grooves. It'll just, that's why I like to use the larger one. Look at that, I don't know where that was, <laughs> saying that, I'm like, you can feel the grooves. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, where am I at in here? Uh, nope, I have a feel, like, you kind of have an idea of where you're going. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, let me see. We need a score mark here. Where does that score mark go? goes this way. We have this score mark and then we need score lines here. Okay, let me make sure I have everything because once I move it, it's kind of hard to 
re-adjust. I think that's everything. Okay, so these other pieces are just for like inlays if you want to do layering, which we will do because we'll decorate our bag and everything. Then there's a little clasp here that you can also just outline if you want that clasp. I think we're going to make it easy on ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Having said that, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Hold on. Hold on. Where are we? Are we here? Are we here? Okay. Ooh, I lined it back up. There's another one in here for our handle that we need to trace. Yeah, now I'm thinking about that box. That's crazy. I have to think about that one a little bit more. Okay. There we are. So we have the one side. So this is where we're kind of at a, we have to think about this one. Because when we cut this down, basically we need to cut this here. Oh, this is the other thing. Okay, this is what I was saying. As far as if you, and you can see my other videos, maybe I'm still a little, my mind's a little reeling right now still. <laughs> um, I get affected by things, guys, and then I, you know, um, sometimes it messes with my uh, thought process here. So. <clears throat> we're gonna cut this here and if you wanted this to be the the ugly side of your paper you know the back side and this is like let's say a polka dot print and see how you can see the stencil the stencil the emboss marks so part of the design can be that you want those emboss lines and so you cut on the very outside of the emboss line because you want the edge of your purse to have that little bump feeling or it could be that you're just gonna cut into it so think about do you want this to be the polka dot side of your paper or do you want this to be the polka dot side of your paper and just cut on the line and who cares or either way or how you want to push down it because this happens too once you kind of veer off sometimes it'll make like a mark on your paper so now if this is the nice side of your paper you're, that's gonna be visible not in this specific location because it's gonna be tucked into the purse but you know what I'm saying so just think about how you want to handle your papers I'm gonna cut this out because um, I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna cut right on the line, like right in the groove. So I'm not using it as decoration. I've done other videos where I have used it as decoration. I'm just gonna cut right in here. And this is the thing. This better be pretty much <laughs> identical as the next one you cut. Or you're gonna, it's gonna be a little off, but this is handmade and very low tech. So, you know, what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna cut this all the way on the lines. And then this way here. <clears throat> okay all right this is the okay hold on i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna cut everything i'm not cutting all the way in on this line can you see that there's a score line there i'm not gonna cut that one and i'm not gonna cut in on this one just yet because i want you to imagine something <laughs> so i'm gonna keep going around and just cutting the rest of this so it's not the biggest uh deal i'm just gonna cut all around okay and i will be right back just around this whole thing. Okay, so there it is, the, the one side. Now, if this were a die, I would say, awesome, cool, if it cut the things the way it needed to, but since we're doing this by hand, it's a little different, and um, we're gonna take some patience. So as you're folding this, as you can see, this is here, it's intuitive that this needs to be cut, because how are you gonna, you, it's not possible to come around. So I'm just gonna cut this, and I'm talking about from right here to about, Obviously where it ends with the, where this um, score line is. Hopefully you can see that. I'm sorry guys, I've noticed the last few days whenever I take pictures, they're really dark and then like in here, I don't know if my alt lights are going out because what happens is alt lights or any LED lights, they don't go out. They won't not work. They'll just be less bright or um, if you're using like, you know, for your gel polishes, your LED lamp, it won't ever go out. It just won't work as well. Uh, same thing with the UV lamp uh, bulbs. So it's kind of weird. Um, so I didn't think I need to look into that. It's been really dark. So thank you guys for being patient. And if you notice that, let me know. Cause I'm like, is it just me? But to be honest, my lady at Tonic asked me to take uh, other pictures this morning. Uh, cause they're a little dark. And I was like, you know, I've noticed that too. Like literally the last four or five days, really weird. Anyway, so we have that cut now. I still haven't done anything with these little slits, right? That are coming in here. I only cut into here. I don't want to show you why, so we can just walk through this logically together. Okay, so as you bend this, that's fine. It's kind of curved, which is kind of interesting. I wish it was just straight, but it is a little bit curved. And then we're going to go straight across here. So for these pieces to join up in here, if they're supposed to link together, we'll talk about that in a minute. So obviously we have score marks. So we're going to score this on these lines. You can use your bone folder if you like. I'm just trying to show you that basic construction here. Now, let's go on the inside. Hmm, 
hmm, interesting. If we were cutting the slits the way they're, you know, scored, that, that doesn't make any sense, <laughs> right? They're, they're both on this top side. Also, they're both facing the top side. I think it's just, ugh, I don't really like that. And I don't want to take the time to like, oh, I'm gonna just turn this around and maybe draw it the opposite way. So what I think we need to do is, basically this is gonna go like this, you see that? It's cute, I mean, it's a cute little bag. And then the other side is, we are not going to um, cut both of these uh, where it shows here. So this one maybe will go this way, right on that line, just that little snip, it's about half inches, half inches, <laughs> half an inch. And this one, I'm gonna come on the opposite side on that same trajectory that that little score mark is, but just snip it from the bottom to that line, okay? So now, we can actually join them. Otherwise, there is no joining them. It's impossible. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of silly, right? But I've had other boards where they do funky things like that too, so it didn't surprise me. I was just like, ay. So we're gonna glue this, obviously, on this kind of, kind of curved thing, even though it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm not gonna link this quite yet because I need to cut this out. And I'm, you can get your scissors and you can make like a big cut and then do it nicely. I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife, so we'll come back to that in just a minute. We still have to do the other side of this. So, do you wanna cut a whole other one and then stick them together? That's gonna be a huge pain and it, it just doesn't, I don't know how to explain it. It just seems weird. Ay, ay, ay. So the other thing I was thinking about is if this thing was one piece, was redoing this portion, if you had a 12 by 12 paper, and then and then just add these flaps on this other side, you know what I'm saying? Before you cut it out, you know, we did this. Now turn your paper over. And it's not cut yet or anything. And then add these flaps at least to this same paper. Would have been good. Because now you have the two flaps, and then all you have to do is maybe make another this side. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna copy this again. I think I'm gonna get rid of a part of it to make it work better, but what I'm gonna do for right now, just to make it easy for us to just look at it, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna cut my paper down so it fits in here. I'm gonna trace it, I'm gonna cut it out completely, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have both of my pieces here, and looking at them, I think it is better to do kind of what I was mentioning. If you use a longer piece of paper and at least catch these little things, these flaps on the opposite side, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, draw it out and then turn your paper over and line this up the same. And then just get these flaps on the other side of your paper. Because the only thing I'm telling you that doesn't fit is just this handle. So I would do that, just have these pieces, cut it out so everything's here plus these pieces right here on the same piece of paper. And then cut yourself out another piece that's just this bottom piece plus the purse and the handle, okay? And then when you put it together, you're just gonna slide this bottom piece into this one and all the pieces are already here for you to just stick it together, okay? That's probably what I should have done. Um, but I forgot, because I already thought about this <laughs> before I came to make the video. <clears throat> and then it slipped my mind. All right, guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do is cut out these Arteza, cut out the Arteza? I was gonna say cut out these <laughs> holes with this Arteza set. Um, with this craft knife. So I'm just gonna look at this. Oh my goodness, it's hard to see because everything's like so bright white. Hold on. I guess if you want to use a ruler, you know, go for it. I'm just eyeballing this, trying to stay on the line. Sorry, did that one. And come around here. Oot. I'm kind of eyeballing, like just making this part up now. <laughs> I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but the white just reflects off, so it's kind of hard to see the um, the score mark. I have an idea. All right, not too bad. I'll do the same thing for the other one, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Oh, also, I don't know what happened yesterday. There was a lot of smoke outside, and then that gets my headache going, and so it's the allergies, and it always gives me a headache, and then, again, like a fog. I'm just not in the right mood or state of mind. <laughs> and as you can see for this, you have to be in your right state of mind for this. Too, uh, and very patient. So basically we're gonna stick these together like this. Um, I'm gonna leave it flat for now because uh, I don't know. And if you wanted to trim down, you know, one of these to make it fit nicer, you can definitely do that. Just kind of, I'm trying to see what's gonna happen once I glue this. I think it'll be okay. 
I did trim this a little closer to the line though. So this one's a little bit smaller than like the first one we did. Just because I knew one's gonna have to nestle in the other one, at least the way I did it. If you have watched a video on this uh, contraption, let me know if I was even close. Because like I said, I couldn't find a video. There was like literally no information out there on this board. Um, no one's selling it right now or, that I could see. Not even on Crafter Companions website. So, you know, they go in and out. And HSN had it, like I said, but it was like four or five years ago. So, you know. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing right now is just basically sticking these together and this is gonna come in. Now, again, like I mentioned, if you do this whole bottom part and then just add the flaps, um, this would have been one piece, right? And then all I would have done is brought this piece in for the opposite side, that would have just been the handle, the front or back, however you wanna see it, plus the bottom. So then I would just stuck the base in there, easy enough. I mean, this is easy enough too, but it was just, you know, it, there's more chances that you're gonna have something that doesn't line up right when you have all this extra paper that we're stacking on top of itself. So normally I let this dry real well. So I think that's what I'll do because I don't want to mess with this much more. It's not hard. It just had some thought we had to put into it. That carton on the other side, I really have to think about. <laughs> I'm just like, how weird. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna let this dry. I'll be right back. Okay, so completely random. Um, I had made moon cakes the other day and you guys were curious. So I was just thinking about it right now. I want a little snack. Now it's early in the morning, but I was like, oh, moon cake. I want to show it to you guys. And yes, I showed you them probably a week ago, maybe over a week ago. Um, but they have like a hard crust, but now it's nice and soft. Oh, it feels so good. So this is a, um, a red bean paste one. Look how pretty. It looks like a Fig Newton, right? I did okay. I got a little crooked there, but oh my goodness. Just soft and yummy. So that's, um, again, red bean paste one. And this one I made up just because I felt like I had seen some videos on using like pineapple and how to make your own pineapple mixture. Look how oily these are. That's why you don't want to eat them every day. <laughs> I literally just touch it in my hands. On well, this one, I it's pineapple, but I added coconut and I used brown sugar to make it a little more like an upside down cake type of flavor. So good. Oh my gosh. And this one I kept in the fridge because it is it has more liquid in it because of the pineapple, even though I dried it out. They are so yummy. I know you guys were curious, so I wanted to show you. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I will finish part of one <laughs> in a little bit here. They, um, you shouldn't just eat a whole one to yourself. At least not the big ones. Okay. All right, so we have this. So thank you for indulging me for a second, guys. I wanted to show you that. Um, so these guys, we're gonna match them up, hopefully. Oh, come on, come on, there we go. Again, it's kind of a weird bend here, so, you know. And this other one. Hope you're all doing well. Is there any crazy weather out there and things right now? Um, like I said, it was smelled very smoky yesterday, all day. So there's that. Very cute, it's a nice size, look it. Okay, not bad, I mean, it makes a cute little product. We just have to uh, work it right. Okay, so here's gonna be fun. Um, where's my glue? I think I'm gonna do one side at a time and just really glue it down. So I'm gonna put glue all the way to the very edge. Oh, I can see that's opening up, so I'm gonna try to get some glue on there. Down here. And just, we're really gonna do, again, one side at a time and really hold it so that nothing funny happens. I don't want any funny business here. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that bean, ca <laughs> bean cake, I always call it bean cake. That moon cake uh, really woke me up. <laughs> so good. And so like my family, because they know, I mean, they're pretty, it just has, not that it has a lot of oil. I don't know how to explain it. And it's not the best thing. You know, it's a lot of sugar and everything else that goes in the fillings. Just so good. So the kids are like, mom. And then Dorian, Dorian's really into them. Um, but they know they can only have a little bit. All right, let me hold it. I'm going to keep holding this just the way you see me, kind of massaging it, kind of keeping it at that curve, because there's a curve there. And then I'll do the other side exactly the same way. I'll put tons of glue and I'll hold it down, okay? I'll be back. I think we're good. I'm just kind of holding it down. Again, trying to give it that curve. Um, interesting curve, because when you look at it this way, you know, it's kind of like this, but if you look at it this way, it's like concave. I know it's hard to tell. It kind of bows out a little bit. So weird. Really nice size. I mean, let me see what we got here. Three, four, four to the, like the handle. And then the depth is about almost three inches deep. So it's a good little bag, you know? 
super cute. Again, if you want to do the latch, you know, that's just a little more work you're going to have to do, but there's that. Um, let me get this back here. And then we want to decorate it. So of course, you know, on these panels, oops, see my coffee. They have lots of different things. You know, we have little flowers. So maybe we'll make a little flower because why not? I haven't really, I don't think I've done that before. Use one of these guys. We're going to do it by hand. Uh, there's little hearts, there's tags. Of course, the tag depends on you because if you're going to cut that little hole out or use a uh, crop dial or whatever other tool you might have um, but for right now I'm just going to do some of these layers and I guess I'll do the outer layer because I always like that kind of thing and then maybe this middle one this one's I don't want to do three layers is all I'm trying to say <laughs> so I have some paper here hopefully this one's big enough to yeah okay so here we are again do you want to put the pattern side down or you want that facing you I'm going to put the pattern side down because like I said if I slip I don't want it to do something ugly and then I'm going to keep that piece of pattern I'm going to cut around the score marks kind of like I talked about earlier it depends on your what you're trying to do with your design see where are we stopping here okay this way and then ooh. and that again is why I like to put my pattern down okay so when I turn it over you see those lines Again, you can cut those lines away and cut on the outer edge, on the inner edge. You don't see it at all, right on the edge, which is not easy to do right in the middle. But what I'm like to do is just cut right on the outer edge of that. So that embossing will be part of our design. And I should have thought about this paper because I think it has a direction. So hopefully I did it straight. I think I did it pretty straight. You know what I'm saying? If I was a little bit off, this paper direction would be kind of funky. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Um... Just for the one side, what I would consider the front. And I'm going to do the same thing again for this this line here. And I'll be right back. Okay. So this paper pack is from a recollections pack. I think it had to do with like, I don't know the name. Oh, it's over there. Hold on. I can see it. I can see it. Boho Collection. <laughs> it's on the other side of my desk here. So this was both in the paper pack, all both these pages or papers. So I thought oh, this would be cute. So I'm going to use this. So we're going to put them on here like this. And then, uh, like I said, maybe we'll make some of the little flowers. So I have a little piece of that paper left over here. And this, oh, you know what? I was going to make this kind of flower, which is what I want. But with that boho look, and it looks a little more like, kind of like an Indian feel. Maybe this, huh? Okay, so let's do that. So I just grabbed papers. I thought these went together. But now that I look at it, they kind of don't. But that's okay. Well, maybe I should do the other one in gold. <gasps> hmm. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, we'll use this. Ooh, scary, right? Um, I'll put that here. And then we will do the same thing. Just trace it. I think this one I'll cut on the line, though, because I want to kind of manipulate them a little bit. This is tough because the paper is so thick. I really have to... Is that where that is? In? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Da, da, da. Where are we at? Down here. I have a feeling my friend was asking about the other one. I'm telling you, I'm still thinking about this on the other side with that carton. But like I said, if you guys can put in words. I know sometimes my viewers have already seen that one or maybe saw a video on it. Which, like I said, it seems like it's impossible to find, which probably means it's on that DVD because they want you to get the DVD, right? <laughs> Look at that. Ugh. I don't know how I want to treat this because what I was going to do with these guys is just kind of curl the ends, curl the, you know, the petals and it'll be cute. This one looks a little more like, I don't know if I should just keep it flat. Okay, so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to use this one again. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to trace this one and I'll be right back on the inside, the inner one. Okay, I already cut down these two just to save a little time here. Um, the kids are up now. I didn't think this took that long. Maybe I started a little bit late. Like I said, I like to try to respond to comments as they come in, but sometimes in the morning it's just a you know little thing I do. I just sit there and it's part of my day and respond to comments and catch up on any emails I might have gotten from wherever, and then uh, start making videos. So maybe I got a little bit later start this morning. So I'm just cutting around the edges. I am going to include that in part of the design. So that's, I'm just going to do, just cut all around. And again, when you're cutting things like this or fussy cutting, just apply pressure with the hand that's holding the scissors, whichever hand you use for that, and turn the paper with your other hand. 
so I'm not going like this, you know, with my <laughs> scissors. I'm turning the paper with my hand, and it just allows for a smoother cut. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm kind of looking at this and like stacking it. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't like flat. You guys know that's my flowers. I don't like flat. So let's try and I think I'm gonna give it a little curve forward, just because the back of this paper is white, so I don't want too much of that to show. But let's just give them a little curve forward. I think that's something, because these it's just it's just too flat. Okay, and then I'm just gonna glue them together. But if you want dimension in between each one, you can use dimensional adhesives, glue, dimensional glue, whatever it is that you want to put. I don't know if they should be staggered a little bit because they don't really nest inside each other. And what's weird about this one is you think this is the next size down because we have a couple more. But it's really close to the same size as this one. And then this one's really different from this one. So I thought this would be about the same, you know, kind of difference. But no, <laughs> it's uh, almost the same size. So there we go. But something like that. Okay, I'm just going to glue them flat, like I said. So I'm just going to put some glue. And then you can mess with this a little bit more once it's glued down and dried if you want still more dimension. And something like that. I'm trying to offset them, which is really weird. <laughs> I guess it's six petals. Maybe that's why I'm having a hard time. It's not an odd amount of, of petals, which is easier to stagger and kind of work with. This is a little bit odd. All right, something like that. I'm gonna let that dry and then think about what else I wanna do. What I can do in the meantime is I'm going to just glue these together and then glue this to my the front of my purse and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're almost there. So again, as little as much as you wanna do, you have all the different layers, you have all these different little things you can play with. And that's just the one side of the board. The other side has lots of other things. There's the tags, there's leaves. I think I'm just gonna do it like this and make it look more just like a little purse. I was gonna put it down here and then like if you have a sentiment, you can put it there, you know, or put it on the tag, however you want. I'm gonna put that there, I think. I was thinking about how I wanna do this because I do want to maybe use a little I don't know if I need to do that first. Okay, so I was going to use a little um, twine here. This is a set I bought so long ago at Hobby Lobby, probably six or seven years ago. It's probably still have it. And just tie this closed. Again, you can glue it closed, I suppose, but that would be kind of a bummer. Or maybe use magnetic clasp or however. And if you really want to keep it tight, you know, that, then I would glue it. But um, again, there are score marks there that you can boop. I'm just going to tie it. And obviously I'm tying it just on the one side and then I'll probably put that flower over it. So it's more just to look at for now. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying, if I have my little flower here and then that little tie, but I don't want that to, um, we'll tighten that up in a minute. Okay, so that's it. I put quite a bit of glue and add this on here. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Hopefully that answers some of the questions you had about this particular board. If you want to see me do the other side, uh, give me some time. I'll have to think about that one. I'll probably try it out. I didn't even try this. I was just in my mind thinking about how to use this and then how these things were like the same. Um, so I didn't test it out. And I've had this for several years. I think I got it when it came out four or five years ago. So, um, you know, how that goes. But maybe I'll try it first. That way when we go to do it, I can just let you guys know from experience and not just from trying it out as I'm going um which is normally what I do here on my channel if you're new I just you know when things come in I try them out and that's you know what, what are you gonna do um all right guys thanks for watching I think I might have to glue this for the pictures okay but as you can see it doesn't stay closed you can close you know put your stuff up here you're gonna want to close it all right guys thanks for watching I will see you all at the next one I hope everyone's doing well and yeah thanks for giving me the day and i'm sorry i was a day late but here it is the first busted out of 2021 thanks for watching guys bye now